This video is brought to you by 28 Mobile. If you want any of these three quad HD display powered devices, make sure you check out 28mobile.com. What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna have a display shootout with the three quad HD displays that are available on the market right now. That is the LG G3, the Samsung Galaxy S5 LTE A, and the Oppo Find 7. There have been a ton of requests for this video. A lot of people want to know what is the best quad HD display on the market right now. I'm going to tell you I am no display expert, so I'm going to be using Display Tester app to show you some of the different characteristics and some of the similarities that there are in between the three quad HD displays. Just as a reminder, the LG G3 and the Oppo Find 7 share the same internal hardware with the Adreno 330 GPU and the Snapdragon 801 processor, both at 538 pixels per inch, while the Samsung Galaxy S5 LTE A has 563 pixels per inch with the Snapdragon 805 and the brand new Adreno 420 GPU. Before I start these display tests, let me let you know that these are three fantastic displays and I don't think you'll be disappointed in any of them. But since the Samsung Galaxy S5 is an AMOLED display versus the two IPS LCD displays, I wanted to change the actual mode here on the display to cinema because that's going to give us the most accurate colors without it being oversaturated since AMOLED displays tend to have super saturation. I am going to be using Display Tester Pro to test some of the most important things on a display such as banding, contrast, and color. Once again, I am not a display expert, but I'm going to do my best in this video. Now if you look at the colors here, it seems to be that even though that the S5 has been tamed down to the cinema mode, it tends to have the most saturated display still. But if you look at the LG G3, those colors seem off in comparison to the two other devices here as you can see. So colors in between the S5 and the Oppo Find 7, they tend to be very similar. Now if we're looking at the banding test, as you can see the LG G3, you can see the banding right away right there on the display so that tends to be the worst now the Oppo Find 7 it's very hard to see that banding but if you look closely at the Samsung Galaxy S5 LTE A you can actually see that banding across the middle as well so the LG G3 definitely loses on the banding test Next up, we're going to be looking at the black saturation test, and as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy S5 LTE A is a definite winner there, but it is a super AMOLED panel, and that's what they are known for, those dark, inky blacks, so it's definitely looking better. But look at the LG G3. You couldn't even see this test until you actually turned it up to about 75%, and that is a huge characteristic of this LG G3 panel. It is definitely dimmer than the other two panels. We're going to move on to the white saturation test and if you look at the actual test itself it looks like maybe the Oppo Find 7 might be the winner but when you get these displays in front of your face and look at them with your own eyes the Galaxy S5 LTE A definitely has the crisper whites brighter and it looks more accurate to me so I'd give it to the Galaxy S5 LTE A. Next up, we're going to look at the black contrast test, and you can see that the AMOLED panel is also doing the best, while the Oppo Find 7 actually for an LCD display has really good black contrast. So if you look at the LG G3 in comparison, it's definitely not as dark. I don't know if you can see it on camera as well, but the Oppo Find 7 is definitely impressive for a non-AMOLED panel. Remember that white color that we were looking at before? This is the white contrast test. And if you actually look at the whites here on the Galaxy S5 LTE A, there it kind of represents it a little bit better. It looks more white, a little bit more vibrant. It looks more color accurate to me as well. And the other two panels, the LG G3 and the Oppo Find 7, you can tell some differences there, but I prefer the Galaxy S5 LTE A when it comes to the whites. Now the saturation test, as you can see here, the colors are a little bit more saturated on the Galaxy S5 LTE A. But if you look at the Oppo Find 7, it looks like it's a fairly saturated display as well, representing darker colors though. Let's take a look at some photos to compare the three displays, but at first I had to pump up the brightness to 75% on the LG G3 just to make it comparable to the other two panels. So the LG G3 is definitely the dimmest out of the three. But if you look at the Galaxy S5 LTE A, it definitely has the most realistic colors where the Oppo Find 7 has the worst colors on this photograph, not representing some real colors here. So looking at the brown colors, you can see that the G3 is kind of the worst when it comes to to that color replication and it looks pretty close between the Oppo Find 7 
and the LTEA up top, but I think the LTEA once again has the best color balance all around between the three on this particular test. Let's take a look at some green colors on these three panels. And if you look at the LTEA up top, I think that it actually has more natural looking green colors than the two here on the bottom. It's kind of hard to tell on this test, but if you go to the second green colors test here, this is where you can start nitpicking a little bit. I still think that the LTEA has better green replication with the best contrast. If you actually look at the three of them, I think the LG G3 looks more overexposed. It looks the worst out of the three. But I mean, this is just nitpicking here. They all look fantastic. But if you actually look at the LTEA, I think it has the most accurate looking colors all around. You may disagree, so let me know in the comment section below. Now we're gonna move on to the blue colors here. This is kind of a hard test because I'm not sure what the water was supposed to look like, but just from my eyes, looking at the Galaxy S5 LTEA, that looks more like ocean water to me, where the Opal Fine 7 comes in second. And looking at the LG G3, that seems to be a little bit blown out and washed out. On the black colors test, it's almost not fair here because of the Samsung Galaxy S5 LTEA has a super AMOLED display and it's definitely a characteristic of those AMOLED displays to have super inky blacks. So it definitely looks best out of the three. Now, what is the most impressive here is the Oppo Find 7. It is very contrasty and it just shows darks really well on an LCD panel. I mean, look at it in comparison to the LG G3. It's definitely night and day. So the Galaxy S5, of course, you can see it shows a lot more detail here. Definitely a range of dark colors in comparison to the three, but the Oppo Find 7 definitely has some fantastic black and dark colors there and looks so much better than the LG G3. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we're gonna go to the light colors. And if you look at the LTEA, once again, it looks like the light colors are definitely the best balance there. It looks the most natural out of the three where I think that the Oppo Find 7 actually looks a little bit muted there and the LG G3 looks a little bit better, but I'm not quite sure there. But when you go to the light colors here as well on the snow, this is pretty hard to tell. It looks like the LG G3 definitely looks the worst out of the three when it comes to it. It looks a little bit more yellow here on the bottom in comparison to the two others. But once again, I think the Galaxy S5 LTEA has the most balanced colors out of all three. Now looking at the red colors here, I think this is where the LTEA definitely lacks the most. As you can see that it looks hyper real, it doesn't look as good as the other two panels, but I think the Oppo Find 7 actually has the darkest reds and actually looks the nicest out of these three panels here. What do you guys think? Now we're gonna look at the orange colors and if you actually look at the LTEA, I think the orange colors are also most natural where if you're looking at the Oppo Find 7, it actually looks kind of funny. It looks a little bit more saturated. The blues don't look quite right on the Oppo Find 7. And then the LG G3, once again, just looks washed out. Now, if you wanna talk performance, all three of these devices are very snappy and for everyday use, I don't think you really notice the difference too much, but I have to say notably, the Oppo Find 7 is definitely the smoothest device out of the three. It doesn't hiccup as much. I think the UI is much more fluid and you can actually tell that there's three gigabytes of RAM in the Oppo Find 7 versus these other two devices. So if you wanna see a further testing of these three devices for the actual UI, then let me know then I will make a separate video for that. But just in my personal use, the Oppo Find 7 definitely has the most fluid experience on the Quad HD displays. All right, guys, well, that does it for me with the shootout of the three Quad HD displays that are available right now. And if I had to call it, I would say that the Galaxy S5 LTEA has the best Quad HD display on the market right now. So let me know what you guys think about this test and let me know if you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more quality content and follow me on Twitter at SuperScientific. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.